Hello everyone, my name is Reno and welcome or welcome back to the Olfactory Library where I share to everyone here on YouTube my love for fragrances. Now I do have to say that if you love these kinds of contents, do consider subscribing to this channel and don't stop there. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified if I do upload more contents like this in the future. Before everything else, I do want to say that if you are new here, thank you so much for spending time with me today. But if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for tuning back in. Now I am very excited to do this video because this has been such a long time coming. I am a very big fan of the house of Tom Ford in general, but I also do love the brand as a perfume house as well. And so for today's video, I am going to give you a list of my top favorite Tom Ford perfumes of all time. That means this includes the signature line and also the private line. But having a collection as big as mine, I do have two honorable mentions that I just can't not mention in this video. I still love those two perfumes, but I really wanted to just keep the list into 10 perfumes just so I can make this video short. Now, if you have been watching my videos, you would know that I don't have a problem with wearing perfumes that are marketed towards women. In this channel, we say wear whatever you want to feel like wearing because at the end of the day, perfumes are just liquid in a bottle. So to start off with the list, let's start with the honorable mention. First one, we have Cafe Rose. I love this perfume so much. It's a rose patchouli perfume. Now, every time I mention this perfume in this channel, I always say that if you have seen that movie that Tom Ford himself directed back in 2007, I think, it's called The Single Man. I think that movie is this perfume bottled. This perfume screams romance, elegance, opulence. It's a very bold perfume. It's a very loud and commanding perfume and I just love it so much for it. The next honorable mention on the list is something that I have included in my summer perfumes for life. It is an honorable mention because I just reach for the other perfume so much. This is Eau de Soleil Blanc. Now this perfume, as I've said in a lot of my videos in the past, it's very transportive. It has this DNA and his coconut backbone that really it gives you that sunscreen lotion kind of vibe and this just reminds me of very sunny bright sunny holiday in the summer by the beach and i do have to say that during summer holidays i do reach for the eau de soleil blanc which is the eau de toilette version more than the eau de parfum version which i do have in my collection as well just because it has this luminance to it luminosity you know it just lifts off my skin more than the Eau de Parfum. I just really, really love this perfume. And if you haven't tried this perfume yet, especially summer is coming around the corner, try this one. This is definitely worth it. And now we are officially on the list. At number 10 is a perfume that a lot of people just love to hate. This is Soleil Brulant. This perfume has keynotes of orange blossom, mandarin orange, honey, amber, and leather. Now I do understand why a lot of people don't like this perfume because there's a lot of things going on in this perfume. It's very strong, it's syrupy sweet, but to me it's not sickly sweet. I have a lot of other perfumes in my collection that I would say that's very headache inducing sweet. This one is not one of them. It's sweet because of the honey and the honey is very syrupy and it just smells very golden. To me this is just like Soleil Blanc where it's also very rich and sportive but specifically this reminds me of that time when I went to Boracay two years ago and that experience of sitting by the beach with the sunset right in front of you I'm gonna show you a picture that I took during that time this just reminds me of that experience of just watching the orange sky in the horizon with the sunscreen lotion drying off my skin and the salty breeze from the sea this perfume just really takes me back and I do have to agree with the name Sule Pol it means a burning sun and this perfume just really gives you all of that it may be too much for a lot of people but if you enjoy perfumes that really gives you a story this should be on your next purchase at number nine we have Fleur de Portofino with the Parfum this perfume has prominent notes of orange blossom jasmine citruses honey and musk now i have to say i do love neroli portofino just as much as everybody else does but for some reason about a year now i have been digging so much into fresh white floral perfumes with a touch of sweetness and this just really fits the bill but this one also reminds me of neroli portofino it's just that this is less greener and has a tad bit more sweetness to it because of the honey note in here and it's just really really perfect if you love white florals for summertime this one you should really look into especially if you don't want to be like everybody else especially if you want to stand out because a lot of people love neroli portofino and i know that a lot of them will be wearing that one for summer 
this one not a lot of people talk about Fleur de Portofino and how amazing it is at number eight we have white suede tea lily of the valley rose suede and musk are some of the keynotes to this perfume this perfume is such a guilty pleasure perfume for me i would always say that if anyone would ask me to describe this perfume using one word it would be chic and that is exactly what it is because it has this beautiful soft suede leather in the background that's even more softened with the combination of the musk that makes this perfume a little bit formal but this is contrasted very well by this fresh tea and florals at the top just makes this perfume just really laid back this to me is just a really beautiful suede perfume leather perfume that you can wear especially during high heat this is a very good office perfume a very versatile perfume a very inoffensive perfume. This is really, really good. Check this one out, this is white suede. Next up, we have Jasmin Rouge Eau de Parfum. Jasmine, black pepper, ginger, amber, and leather are some of the keynotes to this perfume. I grew up hating the smell of jasmine or, you know, the flower, just like the rose, honestly, because I just see them everywhere. I live in the Philippines, Unofficially, our national flower is the jasmine or the sampaguita is what we call it here. And to me, it's just, you know, basic or whatever. But this perfume completely gave me a full 180 to the note of jasmine. It's a really beautiful, warm, elegant, slightly spicy jasmine perfume. And ever since then, honestly, not just jasmine, this perfume completely turned my life around. And this is basically the reason why I'm digging so much white flowers these days. It smells very fresh, it smells very solar, vibrant, but at the same time, it has this warmth in the background, especially coming from the creaminess of the vanilla and the amber that really make this perfume smell very, very elegant. And to me, this is one of the perfumes that I have smelled by far that has a very photorealistic jasmine note in its DNA. So if you love jasmine or white florals, check this one out. This is something that you should not miss. Not a lot of people, again, talk about this perfume here on YouTube, but I think this is really worth the sniff. Try it out, it's Jasmine Rouge. At number six, we have a perfume that is probably one of the most iconic, probably one of the most legendary, if not the most legendary perfumes in uh, Tom Ford. But I would even go as far as saying that this probably is one of the most iconic perfumes of all time. And this is Black Orchid Eau de Parfum. This perfume has keynotes of truffles, gardenia, ylang ylang, spices, and patchouli. I really, really love this perfume so much. There is so much going on in this perfume that it's even so hard to just break it down into five keynotes or five prominent notes. But I do, I'm getting this chocolatey facet to it. This beautiful creaminess in the background that's lacing through a lot of the florals in here. And this is loaded with a lot of florals that it's almost hard to pick each one of them but i am getting a lot of gardenias but it's not very prominently so but overall this is a very beautiful perfume if cafe rose is the movie that tom ford directed himself transform into a bottle this to me i think is the epitome of the brand this perfume right here i would say that this is what the brand would smell like if you could bottle it up into one perfume this is it it's very bold, it's very elegant, it's very confident, but at the same time, it's very smooth with a hint of sexiness and just overall massive sex appeal. This perfume is very much a confidence booster. It may not necessarily be a perfume that you can wear any day because this perfume just screams very dress up. But if you would want to, probably go lightly on the trigger because this is just really overpowering if you're going to wear it for the office. But this perfume, is iconic for a reason so if you haven't tried this perfume yet go check this one out and if you are a perfume collector this is one thing that i would say that should be in your collection next one is a very famous men's perfume oud wood oud cardamom sandalwood tonka bean and amber are some of the keynotes to this perfume this is probably one of the best selling perfumes in the brand if not the best selling a lot of guys love this perfume and i can't blame them because this is really really good to me honestly this is one of the best perfumes ever created in the history of fragrances if you're new to oud wood and if you're probably someone who doesn't like the smell of oud don't be scared by the name because this is a very westernized oud this is a very friendly smelling oud 
it's very approachable it's very wearable and it's very very clean and like i always say about this perfume this to me is a sparkling wood perfume because it has some sort of fizzy brightness at the top that really perfectly complements the oud in the background this is a best-selling perfume for a reason guys love this women love this if you haven't checked this one out yet go try it out this is oud wood by tom ford this perfume goes all the way back from the first inception of the brand this is tobacco vanille some of the keynotes to this perfumes include tobacco spices vanilla cacao and tonka bean Along with Oud Wood and probably Black Orchid, this perfume is one of the most iconic perfumes in the brand. And I would even go as far as saying that this, along with Oud Wood and Black Orchid, is probably one of the most iconic perfumes that has been created of all time. I have to say that I fell in love with the brand before I have even tried this perfume. And so I have already heard about this perfume before when I was already, you know, halfway through building my collection of Tom Ford perfumes. I have literally shunned this perfume for so long just because of the tobacco note because I grew up hating the smell of cigarette and because of the tobacco note that's in here that's you know obviously why this is named I have never really even you know thought of trying this perfume but one day I just out of curiosity just went to smell it and here we are I now have a full bottle of it <laughs> and right now I would say that I do get where all the love is coming from and this perfume truly deserves that this doesn't smell like a cigarette smoke at all it smells more of a tobacco oil and if you've smelled an actual tobacco leaf this is that smell but a lot you know fresher less woodier and it really is complemented so well by this creamy vanilla note in the background and this is one of those vanillas that is one of the creamiest that i have ever smelled and this one is a very versatile perfume you can wear it in a formal occasion on a casual brunch on dates on some night outs probably not so much for the office it's probably very too divisive for it this is a very beautiful perfume an iconic perfume for a reason tobacco vanille from tom ford now we are finally down to our top three i have to say that my entire list before this top three you could probably easily swap each of those perfumes any day my number nine could probably be at number five tomorrow my number four could probably be at the number 10 the next day when it comes to my top three i think it's pretty solid and it has stayed the same way ever since i started my collection these are my top three and I'm going to start with number three, and this is fucking fabulous. The keynotes to this perfume includes almond, lavender, tonka bean, leather, and amber. Now, I know a lot, a lot of people love this perfume. In fact, I would say that this received a lot of hate when it first came out because it didn't blow everybody's mind just like what they expected it to. But it blew my mind when I first smelled it and that's why it's here and I have loved this perfume ever since. This is the very first gourmand perfume that I have ever added into my collection. It's a perfect combination of being a gourmand perfume but at the same time something that smells very formal but can also be very laid back this to me is mind-blowing and i think it deserves a name fucking fabulous there is no other perfume in the market that smells like this and it has a combination of notes that really makes this perfume very versatile you have the very beautiful amid note at the top that's really commanding the entire dna it smells very gourmand but this is complemented so well by the lavender in the background and then it has this beautiful suede leather in the background that's really gives this seriousness to this perfume and i would say it's a perfect touch to this perfume that really gives this perfume that elegance that it needed i love this perfume so much even though it's not as long lasting as i had hoped but for what it is and what it's giving me this perfume is such a guilty pleasure for me now on the number two spot we have beau du jour this perfume has keynotes of lavender oak moss basil amber and patchouli now before this perfume arrived in my collection i thought that i had a solid top three perfumes from tom ford for life but this completely stirred the pot this perfume really exemplifies how you can borrow a classical dna and make it very modern and still very palatable to the modern day it's very loaded with lavender so take that in mind if you're not a lover of lavender but this perfume is really really beautiful it's really a perfect modern 
interpretation of classical men's perfume that's really perfect for formal events but at the same time you could very much safely wear this to the office it may be hard to pull this perfume off if you're just going to wear it to run errands for the day this is something that if you're going to wear this you might probably have to make a little bit of effort with what you're going to wear otherwise this perfume is going to wear you and not you wearing this perfume that said this perfume is number two in my top favorite perfumes from Tom Ford of all time and this perfume is just well loved in the community and I have to say this really deserves all the hype and all the love and lastly at number one my most favorite Tom Ford perfume of all time this is Lost Cherry this perfume has keynotes of cherry liquor almond tonka bean and patchouli this perfume also did not receive a lot of love in the community when it first came out what i've seen so far during the last couple of years since the release of this perfume slowly more and more people have been loving this perfume and i have loved this perfume ever since i have added this into my collection i also grew up not loving the smell of cherries because my family used to buy this very cheap car fresheners that smelled of this very plasticky synthetic headache inducing smells of cherries or lemons and i hated it i hated it so much it always gives me headache but this perfume completely gave my world a 180 degree flip to the note of cherry to the smell of cherries this is a very beautiful cherry perfume that's also quite divisive because at first you might think that this is a very playful cherry perfume because it's sweet but not sugary sweet though and it's creamy but I think the addition of the liquor note in here just really rounds this perfume up and kind of grounds this perfume and gives this perfume that edge and pulls this perfume away from being a typical cherry perfume and this perfume is just sexy this perfume is really beautiful this liquor and the booziness that it offers it just really adds this smooth character to it just really you know like adds a little bit of sense of formality to it but i think this perfume is what the entire brand is all about it's very well put together very sexy very seductive very smooth i just really Really, really love this perfume i always recommend this perfume especially for you know like formal events date nights and that kind of stuff and this perfume ever since i got this into my collection have been in my number one and that completes today's list i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did making this one and please do me a simple favor of liking this video it will definitely help me with youtube's algorithm your one click and that thumbs up would definitely go a long way again as always wherever you are i hope you're staying safe stay curious and i'll see you on the next one Annyeong!